the building itself, I mean, you look at it, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a work of art in itself. Chestnut Hill College's main building, St. Joseph's Hall, was designed in the 1900s by Edward Durang, a French architect. He designed the building in a French style, which can be noted by the arches and pillar art. The building is made up of Wissahickon schist, also known as Chestnut Hill stone. The roof is a red Dakota French style. The protector of the school is St. Joseph, the namesake of the building. The building hosts five stories and has many facilities, such as labs, computer rooms, classrooms, and an art studio on the fifth floor. So I, I find that, you know, it's fitting to have an art gallery on the top floor and you can look up and see all these beautiful stained glass and, you know, and the sculptures and the columns and looking down into the rotunda. It's, I mean, the building itself is just inspirational. So I, I find it really fitting that we have our gallery up here. The white of my eye, how much white do I have here? How much white do I have here? Okay, and then. I think the way that I inspire the students is through the projects. So I teach them about how to be an illusionist when it comes to creating art. This is, even when it comes to master copies, it's based on what master you want to copy and why and so forth. And you get to see um, different elements and people who thought they couldn't draw or paint or make sculptures before, now because of art classes being like a choice but also part of the requirement, they get to experience that and have more appreciation and have confidence in what they're doing. The most challenging thing for me sometimes is to get whatever is in my head out on paper or on canvas. The art teachers here are very good with working with students and helping to support them and helping to guide their ideas, which will work. They find their own creative uh, ways of expressing themselves and that is what gives me a lot of joy when I could pull that out knowing that it's in there it just needs to be tapped. Chestnut Hill College is a religious college and it shows greatly within the works of the art students. The religious nature of the college guides the students with their art giving them inspiration to create brilliant works of art, just like the building that they hone their skill in. I feel like the most challenging medium for me would have to be drawing because I'm always like redrawing, erasing. In the 1900s, the cornerstone for the building was placed and the college began to form, just like a great work of art. However, just like how art can sometimes fail, the building collapsed, and many said that the college was doomed before it ever began. However, like a miracle, the college was built up and is still standing to this day. It can be said that the college being able to be formed even after such a great mistake shows us that we should never give up on our own works of art, whatever they may be.
Well, I, I tend to draw my inspiration from a lot of different areas, actually. Uh, some things are just some past experiences that I've had throughout my life. Uh, things that are going on in my neighborhood or in my community. Uh, people I see. Uh, things that are going on in the world. Uh, I just try to... Uh, I try to represent that or bring that out in my art when when I have a chance. With oil painting, you can glaze over it or paint into it and everything. With acrylic, you can just easily paint over it and like whatever you messed up, you can cover. But with drawing, it takes a certain amount of, I suppose, like foresight, control instead of like, you can only erase so much on one image. Uh, I think honestly that's painting when I'm painting it's 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 really kind of it's almost indescribable it's I feel separate from everything else in the world but you know I feel connected with you know I just feel connected with God and just higher consciousness it's it's almost like it's you feel like you have a responsibility once you're painting and I just want to make that connection with people and, and try to bring those things out in my art by displaying the things that are going on in the world or maybe just going on internally, you know, just to be able to connect with other people through sort of a visual medium. Uh, I think it's, 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 it's an amazing feeling. I know that a piece of art, as you're doing it, it's always subject to change. So you could be thinking about doing one thing and it turns into something else, maybe even better than what you had originally imagined. St. Joseph's Hall and all of Chestnut Hill College stands as an inspiration for us all to never give up and to always look to the world around us for inspiration. It shows us all that no matter what, we should always strive for our dreams and never lose that side of ourselves that creates art from nothing. It makes us all unique in the way we see the world.